Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a goodly theme. I address my psalm to a king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the children of men. Graciousness is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one. In your glory and in your majesty. And in your majesty, ride on triumphantly for the cause of truth humility and righteousness, uprightness and right standing with God. And let your right hand guide you to tremendous things. Your arrows are sharp. The peoples fall under you. Your darts pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness, uprightness and right standing with God and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Your garments are all fragrant with myrrh aloes and cassia. Stringed instruments make you glad. King's daughters are among your honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of offer. Hear, O daughter, consider, submit, and consent to my instruction. Forget also your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty, because he is your Lord. Be submissive, reverence, and honor him. And, O daughter of Tyre, the riches of the people shall entreat your favor with a gift. king's daughter in the inner part of the palace is all glorious. Her clothing is inwrought with gold. She shall be brought to the king in raiment of needlework with the virgins 
her companions that follow her. She shall be brought to you. With gladness and rejoicing will they be brought. They will enter into the king's palace. shall be your sons, whom you shall make princes in all the land. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise and give you thanks forever and ever. 